ladies and gentlemen, a standing ovation, please, for the Angmo who is okay, Nick French. <laughs> Thank you. A fantabulous day to each and every one of you. Hasn't it been a great day so far? Yeah. Right? We've been tantalized by Tim. We've had sharing from Shirley. We've been energized by Eric. And we've been soothed by Sarah. Yes. And now, and now, the time has come to get naughty. <laughs> naughty with Nick. That's what we're going to be doing for the next half an hour. Let me ask you, are you feeling great now? Are you feeling... <laughs> I thought you learned by now that you say yes loudly the first time. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to please all stand up. All stand up. Let's get a bit of blood flowing here. And on the count of three, you're going to shout, shout, not whisper, shout, I feel great. And do this. Right? Are you ready? One, two, three. I feel great. Not bad. Let's try it one more time. Ready? One, two, three. I feel great. Right. Thank you. Please sit down. I hope you are all indeed feeling great. But let's talk about the sign. What does the sign mean? It means okay, right? But you know, if you go to Japan, any Japanese here? If you go to Japan, do you know what this means? Money. money, right. It means money in Japan. How about if you went to France? Any of you been to France? Any people from France here? You know what this means in France? It means zero. This is zero in France. Now, has anyone been to Brazil? Anyone been to Brazil? Do you know what this means in Brazil? You don't want to know. <laughs> this is a very bad sign to give somebody in Brazil. If a Brazilian takes you out for a meal and he asks you how's the food and you say it's great, <laughs> that's giving him a very mixed signal. And if you want to know what it means, you can ask me at lunchtime. So you can see here we've got a bit of a cultural difference in just the simple type of body language. So how do you overcome that problem in Brazil? What other sign can you give? How about this? It's great, fantastic. Do you agree? You could give the sign. But you know what? If you're in Bangladesh or in Nigeria or some Arab countries, you don't give the sign. You don't indicate with your thumb because that's also not considered appropriate. So you see, just simple actions like this across a cultural barrier can have an impact on a relationship. I mean, for the first half of today we've heard about connecting with people, by the way we speak, by the way we bond with them. But this has been mainly across one cultural level, amongst ourselves. When we have to deal across a cultural barrier, it becomes even more challenging. And that's what we're going to talk about today, is connecting the cultural dots.